Hello and welcome to the weekend investing daily bite of 18th of October and the markets did a yo-yo. Everybody was expecting the uh, head and shoulders pattern to dictate the market and market did crack below the neckline but it recovered very very quickly. So the earlier uh, sellers of the morning uh, they were uh, caught on the wrong foot and the market recovered to some extent. In today's uh, daily bite, we will discuss whether this is a strong comeback by the bulls or is it just a flash in the pan. We will discover more on this towards the second half of the video. Uh, in terms of the markets, where they are headed, we are headed nowhere right now. We are still where we were on July 15th. So you can see that three months, uh, almost three and a half months have gone by and we are in that range of 24,000 to we also went to 26,000. So range is not bad. I mean, we've gone, come from nearly 20,000 near elections and gone to 26,000. Now we are hobbing around 24, 25,000. I think that's a reasonable range to have. Today's action, as I mentioned, this everybody was watching this head and shoulders pattern and it cracked in the morning, but it recovered very well. So again, if we were to go above, uh, these tops, then this would pattern wouldn't be negated, so as to say. But as of now, below the uh, neckline, the pattern can still start on the downside. Today, it has been thwarted for sure. 0.4% on Nifty up. Nifty next 50 also cracking very hard, but recovering back slightly above yesterday's close at 0.38%. Mid caps also, there was a long legged candle here, the recovery. So we haven't really gained versus yesterday's close, but at least. Today's losses were recovered at 0.17%. Small caps also long legged tail exactly where we were yesterday minus 0.04%. And the formation of the candle seems reasonably good, I would say. Uh, it's not a bearish candle at all. So you had a very strong smash down yesterday and today you had a great pullback to the same level. It's kind of even Stevens, neither bullish nor bearish. Bank Nifty is the only sort of chart which is looking good right now. Uh, it did not create this right shoulder, rather the today's candle has gone beyond the recent high. So Bank Nifty is actually looking the best of all charts for now, 1.57% upon Bank Nifty. Uh, European central banks are also cutting rates, so there is more and more clamor for rate cuts everywhere. Momentum trends, even 258 advances to 236 decline, nothing Exceptional here, FIIs continue to sell, 7400 crores sold on 17th October, DII is bought 5000 crores, so the biggest month of selling in the last one month has happened by DII, by FIIs and still the market is just a few percentage from the recent top. So that tells you what kind of strength the domestic liquidity has. In today's heat map, mixed bag, you had banks uh, balance out the weakness from Infosys particularly, Infosys was down 4.5%, Asian Paint is down 2%, Britannia down 1.6%, Lever down 0.7%, ITC down 0.45% and the ones that were gaining were Axis Bank 5.7%, HDFC Bank, State Bank of India, ICICI Bank all up, Fipro, I thought the results were not so good but up 3.76%, Tata Motors up 2%, Aisha Motors up 3%. So you had good gains in some of these stocks in autos, in, in banks, private banks. And you also had some good real estate gains. DLF was up nicely. And you had uh, public sector banks in Nifty Next 50, Canra Bank, Bank of Baroda, PNB all gaining ground. Zometo, LTIM and DMART were the biggest losers in the Nifty Next 50. You also had Jindal Steel, Vedanta, Torrent Pharma and Hebels do some heavy lifting. Sectoral trends, private banks led the market today. So 1.9% on private banks, which is very, very good news. This has been stagnant for a long period of time. You can see private bank space has done nothing in the last three months. And even over 12 months, private banking is probably the lowest gain sector of all the market. So private banks has a lot of catch up to do. 13.7% over the last 12 months. Metals did well at 1.6%, uh, the best performing sector in the last one month, 4.8% on the last month. PSU banks also 1.3% today um, for the last one month it's even but on last three months this is the worst performing sector at minus 9.9%. What was losing today was IT but primarily that was on back of Infosys which the market was disappointed with its uh, outcome and its, uh, its uh, 
commentary post the results. FMCG and consumption stock continue to bleed. So this whole thesis that the domestic rural recovery is catching on, uh, this seems to be getting thwarted both in uh, two-wheeler segment as well as in uh, FMCG stocks. Private banks, as I mentioned, uh, has have consolidated since June. You can see the election day high has been uh, instrumental in terms of giving support. And now it looks like private banks are moving upwards. You had access ICICI, RBL, Bandhan, Federal or do well in today's session, up 1.9% of the index. Motilal Oswal has been a runner. You are seeing Motilal Oswal go from five, near 500 rupees in the last few months to 1000 rupees. And Motilal Oswal is so some extent is, is sort of barometer for the market. I mean, if, if market intermediaries are doing well, I suppose markets are doing well. That's why they, these stocks are up. Uh, whether you look at BSC, whether you look, look at CDSL, whether you look at uh, broker stocks, all are doing well, up 11% for the day uh, today. And in the long term also, Motilal Oswal has done really well, uh, especially since COVID when it was nearly 100 rupees and now it has gone 10x from there. So this, this stock has really done well. Of course, over a span of almost 13 14 years it, it did not do anything it was at 100 rupees in 2008 also and then it went down to 10 rupees so all those kind of uh, you know things can also happen strong comeback by the bulls today so uh, 1.25 percent uh, at, at open you can see in the first 15 minutes there was huge selling because this neckline was broken and once this neckline was restored uh, there was confidence back and uh, you know the uh, short covering rally started so Disaster has been averted for today. Uh, we don't know how long it will get averted, but for now, this pattern breakdown has been negated. So you can see here, you know, the pattern breakdown was happening and then it was averted. Uh, long term trajectory uh, this is a monthly chart of Nifty. You can see very, very sound. There is no problem at all. After four months of going up, we are having one down month, which is just not bad at all. You, you can see here you had. Four out of five months up here also. You had four months up here also. Several times you've had three, four months out of five go up and then some consolidation. So this may just be another one consolidation and we may go up. That is also very much possible. This two pivots remain the key uh, levels for the Nifty going forward. DIIs are going strength to strength. So FIIs are selling harder and harder. October 2024, they've sold 75,000 crores. Market is down 4%. In September, October 2008, they sold 28,000 crores and market had collapsed 37 percent. In Feb, March 2020, FIS had sold 78,000 crores, market reaction was minus 30 percent. So, it is very evident that market is not reacting to FII sales and there is a counterbalance in the market as of now at least. We don't know what happens in the future. Um, half yearly uh, chart, this is the Nifty half yearly chart of the last 34 years. Uh, only 10 times is a half yearly period being read out of 44. So it's a very, very strong uh, vote in the favor of longs that uh, if you do nothing silly in the Indian market and you just try to remain long, uh, the probability of your success is very, very high. When we calculate the distance of Nifty to its 200 DMA if from a technical perspective, we've not touched the 200 DMA in a long while. So last time when Nifty was below 200 DMA was March 2023 and we are now 18 months since then uh, where we have not touched the 200 dma every time the 200 dma is crossed there are of course times when it is going to be crossed in a big way down also but that is sort of a you can say a 200 dma breach on the nifty is a very safe zone for long term investors in the sense that when you know the tra trajectory of the long term is long and you are getting the index at below the 200 dma it is just a matter of time that it will go up from there so it is you know sort of a no-brainer that you need to look at adding capital if it's below 200 dma also so even if there is a correction uh, a lot of folks may exit uh, never come back that is the usual case every time uh, but uh, i'm sh i hope and i am i'm sure that all the people who are watching these videos on a daily basis are getting the confidence that you know we have to stay put and we have to keep doing our sips and we should not be getting afraid of these volatility in the market because that is the part and parcel of the game that we are playing i mean see you can say uh, that is the sort of nature of the of the beast that we are riding so don't be worried about market falls or don't try not to do micro 
you know analysis of the market if you are a let's say you are you are following a weekend investing strategy which rebalances every week or every month then you don't need to really you know look at the noise that happens during the week some certain stocks are going up certain stocks are going down if you start to follow each of those uh, when will you you know sort of uh, step away from the market to, to that the whole idea of weekend investing is that you should be stepping away from the market just follow strategies strategy will take care even if there are some down months even if there are some down years it will recover it is it will self correct it will repair itself so that you don't have to worry about it and that's the whole idea of you know the automatic uh, 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 repairing of the strategy so don't spend your valuable time in just following the stocks on the screen it doesn't help if there is any action that you will do because of your following then of course please do so but if you are going to just follow strategy do a rebalance every week or every month there is no point spending time in front of the screen uh, just follow the strategy and you should be doing well let me know your thoughts on this and i'll see you in the next one thanks bye